Dave, were you aware in the middle of that game just how high the standard was? Are we just in the zone and throwing darts? I was just in the zone. We both were playing well. I, I, like, I, I nicked a set there that I think was the first one with a 1 4 4. And then the second set, he could have made it 2 2 and I thought I could not take a big finish, I don't know. Can't remember now. And then I thought, come on, you're turning up, ain't I? Stop throwing away and just keep, keep cool. That's what I did. And but when he started coming back at me, I was like, oh, come on. And then they had the shots, I, I blocked the stops three times. And then I lost them legs, and I was like, come on. So I thought, when he had the bullseye in that last, last one, I had the 102 at 20, I said, I ain't going with top, so I ain't going 42, I'll go bull. I think he had two out of two on 32 as well, so I was happy with that. I mean, you were hitting most things you were going for in that game. Yeah. So do you ever reassess some of your tactical decisions in the game? I mean, in that last one, ball's the smallest target on the board. You were blocking your path to double top a few times. Yeah, that's why they go for the 42, because I block. I hit a 220 for the, for the 120, and it, it wasn't the second that what was blocking my view, it was the first one, because it flipped up so much. And then uh, I missed and he he, he hit that leg, man. He got, he, he got to me a little bit when he was he, I think he wants to go and talk to where Mandel, but he wasn't there and he come back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what he do, but he walks all the way down to the studio and like, come on. See how my dad's come on, let's play. Not the first person in this year's William Bell World Championship to talk about players playing slowly, but you managed to get the job done. Yeah, I I don't, I, he got to me a little bit, but and I just thought, I thought, if you want to win this, just don't, let, don't think about it. Is there a, a special kind of pressure when you're 3-0 up in a race to four and then they start coming back at you? It's a different kind of pressure than if it was just going set win, set loss, set win, yeah. get to a close game in the end. Yeah, it does, it does get to you. But, like, like, like I said, to be fair, that could have been 2-1 that, that e either way. And I took that 1-4-4, four, four, then I took another one out, and then I took another one out. One of the six. Or... One of them, isn't it? Well, you threw to the quarter-finals of the William World Championship for the third time in your career. You must be glad Gary Anderson's not there waiting for you, because he's the guy who's beaten you the previous time. Yeah, I've got, I've got Van Gogh, haven't I? Yeah. Van Gogh, I watched his game last night, it was Mustard. Both of them, Joe Cullen, Mustard. Look, that's me losing this game, and unfortunately it was Joe, but I'm going to relax that. To be fair, I think I'll play, a little, I'll play better against Van Gogh this, this time round, because... Um, I know he's beat me a lot, and he'll be at, he'll be at my pace where I won't be slowing down. I'll just play my own game, so I think he'll do a lot better. The stuff you were throwing during that game there against Dimitri, do you think that's going to be enough to beat MVG on New Year's Day? Um, the finish was quite good actually, so could be, could be. We'll see. I'll, I'll play better when I play him. So many times in major tournaments. You've gone there, played absolutely amazingly. Then you've run into it. It used to be Phil Taylor, then it was Van Gerwen. Here it's been Gary Anderson. It's all time great in the quarterfinals. Yep. And you've been left walking away going, I've given a great account of myself, but I haven't gone any further. That time that changed, didn't you? Yeah, I got a message this morning on my phone uh, four years, from four years ago, me, me and Gary. Like, it, it pops off from the newsfeed and it says, um, I, I lost five, five three quarters and I hit 21 one eight years to East Well. And, how would you lose with them? <laughs> you know what I mean? But well, Anderson played out with Skid. So, and I've, that's gone now. So, that's gone. I'm just looking forward to the to quarter finals now. As are we. We'll see you in 2021. See you, Thank you. Dave, congratulations. Just touching on the, <clears throat> the pace thing, because obviously it's been a lot made of it with Gary and over this week. Do you think players, not just out there, but are doing it too much in general at the moment? Yeah, I, I, to be fair, for me, if I, if I did that, it just put me off straight away. I just want to go up, throw, get back, up, throw, get back. But I don't see the point of walk, walking all the way down to the other studio and coming back and then I'm going to shot a double. And then he missed. If he'd have gone straight at it, he'd probably have hit that. So it's, I, I went mourning when I was on stage. I was like, I'm, I'm mourning now. I'm not mourning, but I'm just telling you how it was. Is it frustrating, though, when players do it to you? That's going on a bit, don't bother me. Because yeah, cause they're coming back at you, they're doing it. You're thinking that in your head when you're up there. But when you win, it's all gone and it's all gone. Right, agreed. 
and like Dan said, quarterfinals have been the stumbling block. But is this the best version we've seen of you here, the way you're playing the first two games? So before, like like I said, the four years ago, was the time up came up on my on, on my phone, and I was I was playing well then. But I think this is probably the best I've come into the World Championships. I feel so confident in myself, so bring it on. Dave, pleasure as always. Thank you very much. Thank you, cheers. Dave, I'm sure there would have been people before the tournament not expecting you to produce the darts you have, but did you believe from the start that you'd be where you are now? Yeah, I, I thought I'd be where I am. Listen, 2020 has been rubbish for everybody. Mm. Well, like, we've all took it different ways, and like, I'm not the best. I'm not, normally for me, my darts is from September to December yeah. is good. Well, I've been poor, and everybody knows that, but I've just gone on the board in this lockdown and practised. And when they've come to the walls, and, and I, I even thought to myself I'm playing well. Well, sometimes I think as, when I played in the Grand Slam, instead of throwing the darts, I was flicking them. Mm. I said to Roger the other day, look, when, I, when he picked me up on transition, I've been practising, I've been trying to get this flick out, out my darts for, for ages now, mm. since, since I got knocked out of the Grand Slam. And it just went. It's actually it, when I said to him, I feel really good. Alright, cheers for your time, Dave. Best of luck in the quarters. Right.